the satanic temple gathering. So this is going to be good. Hey, do you guys know what Satan means? Satan means adversary. That means he's your enemy. Mm. Why would people worship their enemy? The goodness of God leadeth thee to repentance. Yeah, I you're came out here because they're you're really helping this them. Satan con here, and they're celebrating evil, human sacrifice, war, murder, lies. The powers that be, the United Nations, is at war against the American people and against the children. A lot of people really? don't understand it, but Hitler actually won the war. 1963, they really? banned the Bible in public schools. In 1966, the Church of Satan was founded in San Francisco. Wow. The Roman Empire never died. The Pope is the one saying that the vaccine is a mandate. Mm. And that's why the United Nations is the product of. You sell your soul. Hey, you hey, sold your soul for a happy meal. Oh, what? Your wife doesn't want to give you pussy? Damn. Oh, wait, you're gay? Look, lady. Damn. You what you're talking you about is a physical thing. Oh. We're talking about something that goes a lot deeper. <laughs> you don't really love anyone except yourself. You used to have a lot of sex? I've done everything she's done and worse. Exit out. What does Satan mean to you? He means a lot. You know, I went to like seven Catholic schools growing up and all I've had were bad experiences. I was raped, I was abused, I was treated like shit. Where was my saving? I was eight. I'm a child. How? Um, that's weird. You're not a That's really fucking weird. You don't say that to, to children. We're not even two minutes in and this guy's demented. So you're gonna look at a 12 year old girl on her period and be like, that's a grown ass woman. In Hebrew, weird. a girl gets married when she can get married when she's 13. Are you Hebrew? Just like when a man is old enough to uh, ejaculate, he can. he's a man. Physically, physically, maybe not emotionally, maybe not spiritually, they're not ready for marriage, but that's because our society. What is the difference between a Catholic priest and a zit? Tell us. The zit at least waits till you're 12 to come on your face. Damn! Oh, that's very cute. <laughs> Jesus! Yo, this guy is, is done. He's over. That's, he's, he's done. He's just been flamed by the flames of hell. He just got toasted. Mm. Hey, I, don't think so. I was sitting on the edge of my bed praying every night that an angel came and took me away from my dad who was raping and abusing me. But did he save me? No. You want to know who did? You want to know who did? The Satanist Temple. Because they donated. They helped me. They got me and my mom out of an abusive situation. Mm. What did the church do? Nothing. They told me I was wrong for having sex with my dad. They rape children. That's a part of that religion. That's why I told you. He's talking past her. I hate people like that, dude. Are you listening to her? The church did it to her. Her dad did it to her. Breaking news out of Washington, an unprecedented leak from the yeah. Supreme Court. The Supreme Court could be poised the to The Roe v. Wade stuff has Roe been Wade. pretty what insane. Means is that states can criminalize abortion at all points during pregnancy without any exceptions for cases of rape, incest, human trafficking. Justices Clarence Thomas, Brett Kavanaugh voted to support the Alito opinion. Are you with the people across the street? No, no, no. I run a pro-life organization, <laughs> ironically. I'm just here to uh, talk to them about the abortion issue. You have people flipping us off, screaming at us, and like just, I'm like, hey, dude, I'm just trying to get an interview, you know? I feel like these are the same people that like sit outside of abortion clinics and uh, harass people as they come in. I don't trust that shit at all. <laughs> dude. I love Andrew Callahan, man. I love him so much. Hail Satan. Hail Satan. R.I.P. Fredo. Hail Satan. What do you mean by that? I don't know. Do you worship Satan? No. So, if I remember correctly, the Satanic Temple is actually a secular organization. And they're the only reason that they call themselves the Satanic Temple... I think they have um like religious rights. It's it's really like it, it's it's like a whole parody. Like these people don't really care about Satan. We know for absolutely certain that Adam and Eve are just I recognize Aaron Ra. And this guy is actually a super smart guy. If you I, I won't go into him, but you should definitely check out Aaron Ra's stuff. Just a parable. God is the Lord of lies. God himself is a lie. What's the worst thing that Satan ever did? He tried to reason with Jesus. Hail Satan! <laughs> this is just nonsense that this hotel, the city of Scottsdale, would even permit something like this. It's just evil, and they're pulling this crap. They're trying to get it into our schools. I don't know if you're aware of in Illinois, 
a district out there. They have a Satan club for children. I mean, this is disgusting. Well, in case you're wondering if it's is really it? a spiritual war we're watching, here's this news story. The Illinois Elementary School is offering an after-school Satan club. It's Tucker Carlson's face, is, he just has the most punchable face. Sponsored by the Satanic Temple of the United States. I'm June Everett, the After School Satan Club uh, campaign director for the Satanic Temple. Okay, I'll start from the beginning. Good News Club became a thing back in 2001 when they had a Supreme Court hearing in Milford County School District in New York. What is Good News Club? Good News Club is an exciting opportunity for elementary age kids to participate in an engaging and uplifting oh God. program. Indoctrination. Your life changing lessons Beautiful. from God's true word, the Bible. The Good News Club is in 6,500 um, public schools across the nation. Prides itself on getting other children to indoctrinate their peers by, you know, using threats of internal dam damnation in hell. And so what After School Satan Club is doing is offering a safe alternative to those clubs. We don't actually teach Satanism. We don't um, try to prophesize to the children. We don't have stuff like that in the club. Like, it's mostly Uno and crafts and shit. Why do you think <laughs> the city of Scottsdale allowed this to happen? I love it. Because George, George Soros' money paid them off. George Soros had contributed $300,000 for this event to occur. He contributed a bunch of money. Did Where he? did you hear that from? From other people in the, that have done the research. My name is Renee Gregori and I am the spokesperson for Southern California Congregation of the Satanic Temple. Our mission is to spread benevolence and empathy. We look at Satan as a symbol for our values, compassion, justice, uh, respecting the freedom and autonomy of others, a reliance on science as a guide. If children are in the schools and they're being abused, we'll have attorneys to protect those children from that. Uh, we have reproductive rights where we support the rights of women and people who can have <laughs> What's in the zoom? Do you believe in the afterlife? There's no scientific evidence that supports an afterlife. What if I died in a park and then my body decomposed into dirt and then a tree grew out of the dirt, so technically like the cells within the tree are like stemming from my I, kind of... There is no evidence scientifically for any of that. Th and this is what I mean. Like, they would never ever engage with people from the satanic temple in the first place. So they, they will never know that these people don't give a shit about any of that. You know what I mean? So it's just it's just funny to me. To them, uh, it's the satanic temple, and that's at the end. That's the end of the conversation. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother God. They got everyone out here. They got the Catholics. They got the Christians. I will fall. I feel like some of these guys are out here just because they have literally nothing to do on the weekend. Does this kid look happy to be out here, bro? <laughs> the guy says to the doc, he says to his friend, uh, he says to the doctor. Yeah. They're just going to use the things that they, it's okay. they want to I, use. It's they're right. not going to use right. the good things. I, I, they're going to use the bad things. Okay. But actually, the world, Local the people, hater. The doesn't I know, know about the good gonna, things. They're going to we'll cut off the we'll good things, things and they're going to put the I was, bad uh, things. They pick, more they pick the past. You Prayer is more I, powerful than, than talking yeah. to somebody you think, that's going to cut. Do you think a Catholic needs to know that? Well, I'm just letting you know you don't have to. You're not doing it. You're overdoing it. No, you could do whatever you want. Yeah. doesn't sound like it. Our church at the moment is the one truth. Okay. He just, he just dismissed her. <laughs> He's like, listen, just, hey, fuck off. I'm on camera. Fuck off. I'm going to be famous. Fuck off. It's been taken over by homosexuals, and we're protesting that as well. Satanist conference at this hotel. Pray, pray, pray. My name is Trey, and uh, I'm 24. You guys seem to have some kind of disagreement. Is that true? Okay, I have a tendency, um, I apologize, I have a tendency to be loquacious. Uh, loquacious means talking at length, but succinctly, basically... I already can't stand this guy. Just, just, he, he sounds pretentious as fuck. And if you don't know what pretentious means... <laughs> Hypothetically, there's no demons or angels or gods or devils, okay? It's just humans with overactive imaginations. But sometimes we get stories that are profound and beautiful and enlightening, like Satan. Go ahead. Channel 5, epic debate number one. Democritus versus Trey. You're a Christian. Catholic, yep. And you are a Satanist. I'm actually um, transcendent of every ism. But, uh, you know, Satanism, I dig. I dig Satan. I, I mean, he's a profound character from mythology. He's so cool. You know, he defies infinite authority. Isn't that groovy? We need more of that kind of 
rebel balls. We need more Satan's balls in the world kicking ass. Okay. How'd more Satan's balls. Democritus? Got it. I was in an anarchist bookstore. That's what's up. And there was a random stranger, and we got into a conversation. And then uh, I was thinking, you know what? I, it, this is America where everybody has the same name, and everybody dresses the same, and everybody looks the same, and everything's the same, and it's fucking boring. Okay. Random stranger got into conversation. He dared me to change my name, so I did. There it is. Do you dig Satan? No, I don't. Why not? Well, he was uh, he was telling me, my buddy over here, he was telling me he was inspired by him because he rebelled against authority. And um, I told him to stick with the hypothetical, Satan's in hell for all of eternity, burning. Uh, so, <laughs> so that's where I was kind of thinking to myself, well, that's a stupid ideology. Well, you know, everybody's entitled to their opinion. Church. Do I like church? No, it's an expression. It means like you, what you're saying has been validated. I'm not familiar with like you hip hop kids, you know, I'm the- This is the guy that turns people away from being secular. This right here, this is it. Cause this is the guy that you go sneeze and someone goes bless you and he's like, I don't believe in God. What made you choose the blue bandana? Uh, you know, I, I just happened to grab it. I think, you know- He's the, a crip. The mask is <laughs> kind of a smart thing with like the pandemic and all that, you know? I'm gonna bounce out of here. Anything else you wanna say to Democritus? Wait, no, I'm, I'm, I'm good. <laughs> Yes, I have sexual fetishes. It's something that's inherent in basically anybody. What? Basically, um, Freud was onto something when he said, hey, when you <laughs> suppress yourself. I kept hearing this name Kardashian for, for years. I'm like, well, who is she and why is she famous? Have you figured it out now? Eventually, I figured out, okay, so she's some girl with a butt. All right, big damn deal. Who, who's not dating Pete Davidson? If you think about heaven, you don't Jesus. really want that. I'd rather just die. Snorting cocaine off a male prostitute's ass. They're gonna go out into the desert tonight to an undisclosed location, and they're gonna have a impurity ball. It's a festival of orgy, and it's a festival of animal sacrifice. Are they? They usually sacrifice goats or How dogs do you know that? during Lupercalia. No orgies. No, no Satan. Satan. No, no orgies. All Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Okay, here we are. Oh, okay. Right over there is where the impurity ball is being held. We're going to go ahead and preach a little bit here. I pray for these souls. I, I am not going that. to be like you and lie you to it, pretend though. that I know things I don't. If you there evidently that. is no God nor a possibility of God and all we have is evidence against God, then the only possible deduction we can make is there is no God. The logic is evidence of God. There is no logic that is evidence of God. There is no evidence of God. You just acknowledge that logic exists outside of time and space. Your belief system is right. based on a logical fact. Fallacy. No, it's not. I'm the saying the question listen, making. You just described listen, it. Listen, listen, you're operating on a presupposition that there's no. I don't number. do yes, you are. Don't talk to me about presuppositionalism. You, but you presupposition are. Presupposition. Presupposition. is you the are. stupidest of all arguments. But you we are. Presupp no, we don't. Of course you do. No, we don't. You're presupposing. Will you shut the fuck up and let you say a sentence? You've been talking the whole time, though. You're all talking to me. Go for it. I'm gone. I can't. No, no, no. Where does logic come from? Need prayer? No. Jesus still loves you. We love Jesus. We came to let the members of the Satanic Temple know that Jesus still loves them and offer them prayer. Maybe some of them have church hurt, um, have had bad experiences at church before. To set the mind on the things of the flesh is death, but to set your minds on the things of the spirit is life. It's not saying just don't think about fleshly things and worldly things, it's saying Think about the things of heaven. Think about good things. Yeah. I went yeah. to a rave once. I got head from a stranger. I went off to college and became my own person and uh, didn't really adhere to the Christian uh, ethics. My brother passed away of a drug overdose last January. After that, I uh, knew that I didn't have as much time as I thought I did. And I think that made me reconsider taking Christianity more seriously. There's certain music for me that I naturally like but i know i shouldn't sometimes as a christian like i was a big metalhead and stuff still really am i'm like a metalhead that found out he could rhyme i don't really know why these people worship satan i can't even taste it i can't even be that way i think the holy spirit definitely helps me out in whatever he's called me to do whether it's reaching satanists or spitting bars for jesus christ Pulled up talking to Satanists, don't know where their Satan is, but yeah, I'm on vacation, kids. Yeah, I'm just a Christian out here on a mission. Listen, giving God submission, that's just how I kick it. Like I'm doing this Kung Fu, ain't scared of that Kung Flu. No, I'm just out here eating food. Did he just call COVID the Kung Flu? You, you really can't take any of these guys seriously.
I learned to fight when I was young. How come? Because my name is Dick Tingler. My legal name is Dick Tingler. I changed my name to Barnabas. I have no doubt these guys are sincere. Why else are they Barnabas sitting out here at 10.30 at night if they weren't sincere about hoping to reach somebody? I can respect that. Oh, Lord. Okay. At the end of the day, I'm not saying I agree with it. Or am I? But oh, no. his legal name is Dick Tingler. His parents didn't love him? <laughs> what? <laughs> that doesn't mean I don't respect you. Okay. Yeah, Take me home to the place I belong, West Virginia. I just th this picture here is worth a thousand words because he definitely just told both of these guys that his name is Dick Tingler. And then they proceeded to sing this. So that's iconic. Place I belong, West Virginia, Mount Mama, take me home, country roads. Yeah, brother! Wow.